<laughs> no. We can't start a video like All right. that. Spicy books are having a moment right yes. now. <laughs> the Court of Thorn and Roses series is super popular. There are so many recommendations on Book Talk, <laughs> and it's really brought up this big conversation that a lot of people are having lately. Is it okay to read smutty, spicy, sexy <laughs> romance books when you're in a relationship? And also, can guys be into romance novels too? Mm. So we are giving you our thoughts in today's video. First, we want to hear from you. Do you like reading spicy books? Yeah. Leave us a little fire or a little chili pepper emoji <laughs> down in the comments or give us your recommendation for your favorite sexy book. All right, if you're brand new to our channel, first, we just want to say hi. This is Vanessa. I'm Xander Marin. Vanessa here is a sex therapist and we've been together for 14 years. Also, these cute little faces to the sides of us, if they pop up, are our cute little pugs, Maggie and Winston. <laughs> and we are here to give you the tools, tips, and techniques to create a truly extraordinary relationship inside and outside of the bedroom. So if you're interested in that, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so I have to confess, we got the idea to make this video because I started reading a Court of mm. Thorns and Roses series. I didn't think that I would be into something like this, but I had a friend who was just recommending that I read it over and over. I finally caved, I read it, did not think I was gonna like it, but I loved it. And so I started sharing on our Instagram account that I was reading it, mm -hmm. and we started getting so many messages yeah. from people asking like, hey, do you think this is okay to read this kind of stuff when you're in a relationship? All right, so our take is that yes, it is totally okay, and it can even benefit your relationship. So look, like there's nothing wrong with reading a sex scene, just like there's nothing wrong with watching one on TV or in a movie. Like at the end of the day, it's just, stimuli in your brain, right? Like it doesn't mean anything. You're not like cheating on your partner just because you read something or just because you saw something. Like we see these things in our everyday life on TV or reading whatever, you never know when a sex scene might pop up. Okay, so there's one thing I will say, a little bit of nuance here, mm -hmm. is that it can be easy to get lost in the mm -hmm. fantasy world of a book, and in particular, to like find yourself wishing that your partner was more like a character mm -hmm. in the book. I think sometimes we have to remind ourselves like books are meant to be mm -hmm. entertainment, just mm -hmm. the way that movies and TV yeah. shows are meant to be entertainment, even porn. Like, it's not realistic. This isn't what relationships mm -hmm. or what sex really look like in real life. And I think particularly with the, the spicy smutty books like these books are really wit written for women and often by women mm -hmm. I saw a great meme that was talking about like women can really write the perfect man <laughs> for women right like we have these ideas of exactly mm -hmm. what we want so we can read these stories by female authors and be so intrigued by like <laughs> oh yeah that's exactly the kind of man that I want so I want to name that little thing too, but there can be a lot of benefits to reading spicy books. So mm -hmm. one is that they can get you very fired up. Yeah. We've definitely talked to lots of women who felt mm -hmm. like I had lost my contact with my sex drive. I was feeling no mm -hmm. desire, very low desire. And then I started reading these books and it felt like I got brought back to life. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what great benefit, right? Like feeling reconnected to your sex drive. You can also bring that energy that you get mm -hmm. from reading these books into your relationship, into your sex life with your partner. It could also be really fun to mm -hmm. share scenes with your partner, maybe even read them out loud to each other. Also, you might learn new things that you like. You might yeah. read something in a scene that makes you a little curious. You yeah. want to try it out. So it's a great way to get some new ideas. I want to give one more little caveat here though. Like I was saying earlier, you know, these books are meant to be entertainment. They're not the most realistic and sex scenes in books often are just not very realistic. So I have only read the Court of Thorn and Roses series. That's been my first foray into spicy books. I might read some other ones. Um, and I thought like as a sex therapist, my thought were, was that these scenes were mostly good, but I did have some issues. So mm -hmm. there was a lot of female orgasm from penetration alone, which if you've seen other videos that we've done is not realistic for the vast majority of women. There were a lot of times where characters were having multiple orgasms effortlessly, which yeah. is so quick and easy. One big pet peeve that I had is that the author never used the word clit or clitoris. Like she had so many funny things 
Funny mm-hmm. ways of referring to it like a bundle of nerves and the apex of her thighs. It was obvious that she was talking about the clitoris, the little hot button, <laughs> but she wouldn't actually say that word, and that bothered me. So I have heard that A Court of Thorn and Roses is really good, like in terms of accuracy compared to other novels. So that gave me a little bit of pause thinking like, okay, I, if this is the best and I as a sex therapist have some issues with this, I'm a little bit worried about the other sex scenes. So bottom line is, I think it's just important for us to remind ourselves that these books are meant to be entertainment, <laughs> not education. All right, one more thing. Romance novels are not just for women. So some reports show that men actually may make up 18% of romance fiction readers. If you're a guy or a person of any gender who's into romance novels, that's awesome. And hey, let us know down in the comments (laughs) below if you are. All right, so that wraps up our video on spicy books. If you like this video, please give it a like, hit the red button to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and while you're at it, hit the notification icon so you keep getting notified as soon as we post more videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.